Hi, this is John here from Horsepower Freaks. Today we're going to show you how to test the intake air temperature sensor out of your Horsepower Freaks turbocharger kit. First, what you'll need to do is remove the intake air temperature sensor from the intake manifold. Then you can either visit the troubleshooting section on our website or visit AEM directly and download or print this, which is the inlet air temperature um, data sheet. Basically tells you how many ohms the sensor reads at what temperature. So once you have that, grab yourself a multimeter. We have a, ulti a multimeter that auto ranges, so all I have to do is set it to ohms, but if you don't have one that auto ranges, you can just set it to kilo ohms. Um, there's two prongs on the inside of the intake air temperature sensor. You basically just take your positive and negative leads and touch them to those two prongs without touching each other. As you can see, the sensor reads 3.146 kilo ohms. Reference the chart. 3.1 falls right in between 25 and 20 Celsius. So that would tell us that our room here is in between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. So if I cut it in half, to 23 degrees or 22.5 degrees. Let me do the math here real quick. That tells us that our room is 72.5 degrees. Convert 22.5 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit is 72.5 degrees. So I would say that the sensor checks out as correct because our room is about 70 to 75 degrees. So that's how you check your intake air temperature sensor. If you get a reading that's just way off the chart either way or doesn't move, and I'll show you that here in a second, what you can do is touch the prongs again. And if you check out the multimeter here, if I just so much as breathe on this sensor, it should give me a different reading. It should move. And if it doesn't, that's another sign of a bad sensor. So let me make sure I get these on here good. We have a reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blow on it. And if you look at the multimeter, you can see it moving. Now, if yours does not move and stays at a consistent ohm reading, then that would tell you right there that your sensor is bad as well.